or 10, that 11,305. That sound right? My bill shows 10,825. 10,825 was your bill last year. Yeah. Okay, so you must have went up to 11,305 this year. Probably. Yeah. I know the assessment went up. So I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Great. With me. This is not for today. Well, yeah. and that you're up by yourself. Who did you have last year with you? Just me. Was it? Yes. Yeah. We asked if everybody was going to be here, and they said they didn't say yes. Esther, I know, said a uh, year with the Katie Shores meeting. He'll be here. Yeah, and Martin's. Yeah, he'll be here after me. Anyway, yeah. go ahead, Ed. Okay. Um, so I'm here every year, so I mean, I know that you know the general idea of what parents are yeah. all about in our general program, I'm not going to go through that again this year. Um, mainly I just came just to kind of give you some updates on what we've been doing and what the future holds for us. Um, we've been hearing um, from the community a lot of different needs, and the main one we're hearing right now is around the summer months, the families have been telling us that it seems like the town shuts down for families for the summer. There are some events out there, but a lot of the structured programming and things seem to come to an end for the summer. So we decided this year that we would actually change our focus. Um, and instead of running our school readiness program, which I'm sure you may have read in the paper, that we did cancel that. So instead of running school readiness, we're instead we're doing a lot more family-focused activities through the summer. So we'll be having events at our facility, um, <coughs> events out in the community, down on the waterfront, like that, um, as well as continuing our parent education and parent support and things like that. Um, that is the biggest trend change that we've seen in our families this year. We hear a little bit of it every year, but this year for sure our parents said, you know, we're nervous to lose the support over the summer months. Um, and a lot of our parents right now are following um, a large following of teen moms. And we've worked very hard over the years to try to get teen moms to come to our center and use our services. And for the first time, we actually have them and they're attending our program. So, so for those reasons, we've kind of changed our direction for this summer in particular. Um, some of the new programming that we're looking at um, <clears throat> is we're, we're looking at different parenting programs. We're looking around <coughs> budgeting and how to you know, budget on a low income, how to cook meals in a healthy way, but also on a budget. Um, we're looking at starting up a trading post, so a store type idea where they can just bring whatever item it may be, clothing, non perishables kitchen items, personal care products, and things like that. And just one small thing that they can bring in and they can take whatever out of the trading post that they need. So you got the room for that in your We do, yeah. Yeah, we have a clubhouse and they're building out back. Is no longer being used, so we're actually going to use that as our storefront. So. so that I think will be a very good thing for this community. There's a lot of parents that come for certain products, and either we don't have it, um, and some are saying they can't even afford to go to Salvation Army or Frenchies and things like that. So I think it's definitely a need in this community. So that's another one that we're doing, um, and we're looking at hopefully starting up some family nights and things like that. So. We're really changing the focus from just, you know, a list of programming to really trying to capture, you know, what the family's needs are and bring families together as a whole. So that's What's the story on the community garden? We're still going with that as well. Yeah, we're, we only have about three rows left to fill for this summer. Okay, good. So we're full with that. And we actually have some children doing a gardening club program in the garden this year as well. Okay, Councilor Day. <coughs> Yes, uh, thank you for coming and uh, thank you for the uh, very, uh, very well done uh, report that you always do. And uh, you do good work and I'm glad to read in the paper what you plan on doing and what you're doing now for the uh, mowing and budgeting and how to prepare meals, nutritious meals at low cost. And uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad to be doing it. I'm glad to see some of us doing it. I think it's, it, it is a neat thing, and, and uh, it's a shame that there's. I, I hope you're, you you get overrun with the uh, enthusiasm oh, yeah. to, to come and, and, and learn about, <coughs> about putting up real good nutrition meals for another.
needed. It's needed for the children. Uh, and it's needed also for them. Last year, you, you got that you were tax exempt. Was that 100 percent last year? Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah, okay. I just, just wanted to make sure. I'm looking at these two figures in 2011 and 2010. So these ones here in this column was 2010. And this one's here was your asking. Your asking for 100 percent so it would be parents' place would be 11,305 for the trust of the Yeah. Right. Well, anyway, again, not the red wall, but you do very good work. And uh, I know I, I, I'm proud of your organization in place. It's been existed for a long while. I walk by there, you know, mm -hmm. quite quite a bit. I live in that neighborhood. But this is on the street. Your surrounding area, if you have any problems around your surrounding area that you can speak of here that you'd like to see, you know, dealt with or, or uh, what I mean by that, garbage, derelict uh, buildings. It, it doesn't look really nice around that neighborhood. I, I know some, I'm sure you worship with those in that area. And Councillor, uh, Councillor, uh, yeah. yeah. Councillor Lancaster, because we, we go around that area there. And, and I've noticed that there's, it doesn't look good around. No, it has in the past. It is a little better, I have to say, actually, the property directly across from us, which is just a field that was full of garbage for years and years and all this going on. Yeah, we own part. I think we own the net one piece there, and we were trying to acquire another one. So, oh, yeah. where the house was, that was yeah. going down. So, uh, yeah. there's one about Moody's Lane also, and there's going to be a few. I noticed a lot of debris, a lot of garbage, and that you had a tendency to blow around. And your place is such a nice looking place, and it's not going to take much for it to blow over there. So no, that, that's, that's why I asked. Is, yeah. is there anything that's, that's over there that's pressing that if it's, if it's on top property, and if you ever see it, you know, that it's beginning. Nasty looking that you really should call okay. and just 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 inform us what's what's there and what's happening there. Yeah, well, like I said, that one field had been a problem area, but it has been yeah, a lot been. better since then. Okay. Um, we're constantly dealing with vandalism and gotcha. things like that. So I mean, vandalism on the playground on over here, please. More so over the community garden area. A lot of fences have been broken this year. A lot of entrances have been damaged. Um, theft of woodwork and doors and from the garage. Oh, the garage. So it seems more centered around that garden, probably because of the lack of yeah, lack of surveillance there. So. Okay. Deputy Mayor. Uh, thank you, and I appreciate you coming. Uh, I just want to let you know that the skate park, the ones that we not to walk there, the ones that we got the, the cross from you, the oh, okay. lot, we do it every year, and just want to let you know that if that parking lot's not getting Mm -hmm. They can call public workers to call one of the counselors to call us to call. That's the thing that to Sabrina downstairs and public workers. Just let them know uh, if it's not being mowed or if there's, and if there's any debris or any garbage. Sometimes uh, the next door neighbors, I notice there was some, uh, every year it's always there. 